Hi everybody, it's FIBO Group, and you're watching to the Market Watch review. The Iran-backed rebels in Yemen have destroyed half of the Saudi Arabian sites that were left, driving up oil prices. Small gains were achieved in Taiwan and China's markets. Tokyo was closed during the spring equinox. After rising 5.4% last week, Europe's stock 600 is now steady. Futures in the USA are now trading at a lower level. The greenback is mixed, with minor gains in the euro and Swiss franc. The dollar block currencies of Scandies and Sterling, however, have a soft bias. Gold is currently trading in the $1917-$1929 area, which is about the middle of the $1900-$1950 range. For the third session, oil is on the rise. The April WTI reached a low of $9.5 in the middle week and is now at $109 per barrel. Asian Pacific Market Rising energy costs will have a negative impact on the East Asian external balances as well as increase inflation. These forces are already visible in Japan. Tokyo's March CPI will be released late this week. It is expected that it will rise to 1.2%. This would mark the highest level since April 2019. The dollar trades firmly against the Japanese currency. It is still within striking distance of its pre-weekend peak at JPY 119.40, and it has held above 119.00 today. The Australian dollar extended its nearly 1.7% rally last week that lifted it above $0.7400. It had been close to 0.7165 when it began last week. The gains fell to 0.7425, just shy of the spike high of 0.7440 earlier in the month. Market of Europe Highlights from Europe this week include the spring budget statement by UK Chancellor Sunak on Wednesday. Germany is currently preparing a supplemental budget to the existing projections. Remember that the original budget required borrowing nearly 100 billion euro. The pre-weekend range is the euro's trading currency. The euro has traded at a range of 20 pips between $1.1050 and $1.1050. Sterling is currently coiling. It trades within Friday's range. Thursday's range was $1.3085 to $1.3210. Market of America Markets continue to process last week's Fed announcement. Today's focus is on Powell, who will be speaking at the annual NAVE conference. This week's economic highlights include new home sales, durable goods orders, and preliminary PMI. Canada's railroad strike could cause supply chain disruptions. About 3,000 Canadian Pacific Railway employees went on strike at the same moment they were locked out. Since September last year, Negotiations over pensions, benefits, compensation and other benefits have been ongoing. Support for the US dollar is a little lower than CAD 1.2600. That's all for me, closely monitor the news background and be prepared for all the surprises of the market.